time. So hello LiveWires. Let me know in the comments where you're watching from and what you're working on with your wire art and wire jewelry. I'm going to open up the uh, video on my computer so as always I can see who's hopping on the live stream and today it's not going to be a super long live stream because I have another live stream happening tomorrow. Let me just open up the computer and tomorrow, uh, hi Amber, how are you? Tomorrow I'm doing a live stream with Beetle on. So I'm going to also grab the link to that so you guys can uh, join me tomorrow on that live stream. That's gonna be super fun. Hi Mustafa. Hey Ginger, how are you? Wire Whisperer, thank you. And uh, yeah, let me just find the link. I should have uh, been a little more prepared for that. Hi Vanessa, hey Lauren, everybody's hopping on, fantastic. And Julie, hey Julie, how are your kitty cats? Why are kitty cats going? And Kat, hey Kat, nice to see you. I'm just gonna, I have to scroll down on my Facebook feed to find the link for this. And then I'm gonna post it as a pinned comment, but um, I just have to scroll way, way down on my Facebook for the original post, and then I'm gonna post it. So hey Joan, how you doing? And, oh, there we go, I got the page. So apparently you can join, uh, you don't have to be a Facebook user, apparently. I'm not quite sure how that works, but I'll, I'm gonna post the event page and you guys can watch this live, um, my uh, collab with Beetleon. So let me just copy that. I'm gonna go back to uh, the post, let's see. And Nina's hopping on, awesome. So let me just, post this as a comment and then I'm going to do a little bit of troubleshooting. So everybody's saying hi to each other. Uh, hi Martha, fantastic. So here, let me just post the link. So this is the collab with Beetle On. I'm going to post that at the top and then I'm going to pin it. So we're going to pin the message and perfect. So if you guys want to join me tomorrow, Thursday, hi Rose at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, that's May 13th, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, my Facebook live stream with Beetle on my favorite wire company. So I'm super, super happy about that. Hi, Susanna. So I thought in their honor today, I'm gonna try to play around with one of the products they sent me a little while ago. This is the braided wire. So this should be super interesting. And tomorrow what I'm gonna be doing with them is I'm going to be um, working on some ideas, well, designs that I've already done for rings that uh, that sell. And then I'm gonna to try to do a couple of special ones just for them that we haven't done before. So I'll do a couple of special ones just for Beetle On. So I'm super, super excited about that. So let me go ahead and flip the screen and we're gonna see what we can do with this braided wire because I've never used it. They sent me a bunch of it and I haven't tried it yet. So let me know in the comments if you have this braided wire and what you have done with it if you have uh, if you have this wire. So I'm just gonna check the comments. If I miss any of your comments and uh, you said hello, please just say again because sometimes I miss the comments. So, uh, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to see what's going on. So this is called Braid. This is the Artistic Wire by Beadalon. 10 gauge, so I imagine 10 gauge means the complete gauge of the wire. It's like that seven strand copper wire from the from the hardware store. When it says when it says seven dash six, it means um, there's seven strands of wire and it's six gauge total. So this is the same thing. It's 10 gauge, but that's for the entirety of the of the all the twisted wires. So that's cool. Uh, can I win the giveaway, please? The giveaway's already finished. We already did a giveaway last week for the, um, when we said our favorite animals. So that was last week. That was the giveaway for the 50,000 subscribers, which was super awesome. So that was great. And uh, so Kat says, I own some, but never used it. Okay, so there we go. So 10 gauge, yeah. The, so that's the entirety of the gauge. And um, apparently you can untwist the end as well, a little bit like the, I guess like the guitar wire. Uh, so apparently you can kind of untwist the end and do stuff with it. So it's pretty flexible. It's got a really interesting texture. I imagine you can make a nice little bracelet with that as well. 
And then I have a few other wires to complement it. I actually have some in the same color. I won't be able to work along today because I'm cleaning my workspace. No worries at all because today is just a regular live stream. It's not a let's, a let's get wired live stream. When we do the let's get wired live streams, we all do our wire work together. And probably I'm going to do one on Sunday. I'm going to announce it to probably on Friday to let you know if we're going to do a let's get ride wired, but it'll probably be on Sunday. So this is, compare these two, this is the braided wire and this is the twisted wire. So this is like, I think two strands of wire or three strands. Let me just see. Hi, Dee Dee. And, uh, there we go. So now, yeah, so let's un unwind these. We've got, yeah, this is three stand strands that is uh, twisted together. So that's the braided wire or twisted wire. Sorry, this is a twisted wire with three strands. And then this is the braided wire. So I want to just see what we can do with that. Sometimes when I have trouble accessing the ends, I'll just use my cutters. Like I'll try not to cut the wire, but I'll just kind of pick at it a little bit to see if we can separate these strands. But I don't know if you can or not. I thought I had seen somewhere that you could separate these strands, but now I'm not 100% sure. So I'm just going to have a look and see. Like, I don't think there's any reason you would necessarily want to separate them, but there it might be possible. I'm just curious to see how it's made. Oh, so now I understand how this is made. It's actually uh, three strands six strands all together so there's two twisted together uh two 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 so there's six strands all together so that's really interesting it was twisted that i made not braided and i'm still working on my morning coffee okay cool so now we're gonna un hi carolyn so let me just unwrap so these are these look like they're literally braided yeah so these aren't just twisted these are literally braided together and this is really, really cool. Oh, I think it's, I like this idea to actually take them apart because it looks really interesting. So maybe we could do, just to start with, we'll do like a little ring or something uh, just to play around with and, and see what we can do. So let's just untwist this a little bit, unbraid it. So there we go. I don't know how much they look like. It looks like hair. Like this would make an amazing amazing hair on a little face pin or something. Maybe I could do that. So there's three twisted wires that are all braided. Exactly. So there's sets of two. So there's two, two, two. So there's six all together and then they're braided. So cool. For a tree would be amazing. That's a great idea. Perfect. Maybe we can make a tree. Actually, let's make a tree with that after. So I'll start with a ring and then we'll do a tree. That's what I love about doing these live streams is you guys have the best idea for these. So if we're gonna, say we're gonna bring it around here for a ring, I'm gonna clip it because Mustafa loves it when I say clip it. So we're gonna clip this and we're going to uh, unravel it a little bit. We'll make a ring and then let's do a tree after. I think that would be super, super cool. I love that idea. So let's go ahead and unroll this. So. Did you guys say, I think Kat said she has some of this wire, but you guys let me know in the comments if you've seen this braided, braided wire and you could definitely make it yourself. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's like I said, it's the, oh, this is actually, this isn't braided. If I'm, un, look at this, I'm unraveling. It's not, maybe it's not officially braided then. It's more twisted. Okay, I was thinking it was actually braided, but it I don't think it is braided. It looks like a braid. Maybe that's why it's called braid, but it looks like it's actually just twisted because if that was a braid, I think it would be harder to unravel like that. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this doesn't We're going to we'll try after. Maybe I'm going to try to to do a braid and see how it looks different. So we're going to we're going to do this. I do something similar for mini trees. Very cool. Yeah, I think a little tree would be super cool. So let's just bring this one around here. Maybe I've untwisted it too much. So let me just bring it back up a little bit. And then what I want to do is I'll bring these ones to the side. I want to twist this together. So I'm going to bring this one around here. And we're just going to bring these ones up. And then just maybe just bring one of these around to twist it. So if we bring all of these ones up, all of these up and then we're going to twist this around for the ring. So if we bring this one all the way around, I don't know how much we want to do, but we can just 
to keep it simple, I think I'll just do it this way. I'm going to just bend this one all the way around. Or I could have got a separate wire too, which would have worked. But I think I like the idea of actually using this wire. So I struggled getting my tree stuck to the stone. Yeah, yeah, that's that's always, a, I mean, you can use glue, but you can also wind it all the way around. It's true. So this is neat. So we're just going to put it on there like that. And then you could add some... Oh, I, it's really funky. You can add some beads to it, I guess, if you wanted, or you can just leave it as is. So let's see what happens if we just wind these in a little bit. And if I change my mind, I might put some, I might put some, um, uh, what do you say, uh, beads on it as well. So we're going to just go like that. And what if we just wind this in a little bit and just keep it like super kind of funky and abstract? Like you could definitely do something like that but what if I do want to put a bead on there let me just see what beads I have that might work and that might look good so I'm just going to straighten this one out a little bit and see what I have for beads but the bead would have to have a decent size hole I guess to put it in there I can straighten this one out a miracle bead made of plastic or glass miracle beads are acrylic so that's plastic and uh, I love Miracle Beads because they've got a beautiful color and they're also, um, uh, they're also really lightweight. So for earrings and stuff, it's really good. So yeah, I think to get the, to get the bead on there, we're really going to have to straighten the wire. So let's just straighten it out a little bit. Uh, Gorilla Glue. Yeah, I've never tried Gorilla Glue, but I think that could be really good, eh? So if we put this bead on there, maybe it's going to be, I don't think I want the bead too big. I think I'm going to remove that one. I'm going to see what else I have for a smaller bead, but I need one with a big hole. And I always use these turquoise ones, but maybe hot pink. I'm not sure. Okay, this is one of those days where I'm indecisive about my bead color. So maybe the, maybe the red. Mm, I think I need the bigger bead after all. Okay, so what do you guys think? Should I use should I use a uh, hot pink or I don't think I like the green. There's hot pink or the hematite, I think. So you guys let me know which one you like. I could use pink, I could use the hematite's a little big. I can use turquoise. And I can also use no dark blue I don't like. So maybe the Maybe the pink or the turquoise or the hematite, or I could do a few colors, I guess. I just have to decide baby pink, hot pink. I don't think I have baby pink, but maybe I can go with the hot pink. I can try the hot pink on there, although I'm not 100% sure. I think it's pretty good. So let's just stick this on, or several colors. I like, I kind of like that idea too of using several colors. So let's just find out where we can put the bead on here. So we're just going to stick that one on here and then we can just bring that around. Yeah, I think if we can just bring it around, I think there's so much possibilities with these. I'm not even sure I want to put a big bead after all. I'm going to just, I think I'm going to remove it for now. I'm going to just wind up a couple of these for now and then I'm going to decide about the beads. So let me just take these ends. And I'm not super concerned about what the final product, uh, uh, what the final thing is going to look like. I just really want to play around with this wire, but I do want to do the trees. So lavender, ooh, lavender would look pretty too. I might actually have a purple bead in that color, but I don't know if I have any left. I have to go back to my bead store tomorrow. So I'm going back to a different bead store tomorrow. And... Um, Another another one of my downtown bead stores. So I'll try to do a little haul video from that to see. I was told the trend for colors this year is gray and yellow. Oh, that sounds a little somber, but uh, sometimes it looks better in practice than it does in theory. So I'd be curious to see what's going to come out with that. I don't really pay that much attention to trends. So you know what? I'm just going to do a bunch of squiggles with these because I think I'm going to skip the beads for now. I'm just going to bring this one around, play around with it, and then I'm going to uh, get right on doing the tree because I think that's going to be super fun. So we're going to bring this one around, just do a whole bunch of these little squigglies. I think it's super cool. 
I might put the I might put the bead in the middle. Actually, I might put a bead in the middle. I'm just gonna do the squiggles first. Uh, pick several colors. Yeah, I think you're right. I think several colors would be really nice. And uh, yeah, you could put even put them in the spirals. That would be really cool. I think that's a good idea. And maybe the little miracle beads would fit on here too. I can check and see if they would fit. And uh, now it's getting a little sort of more regular than I would have liked it to. I would I would have liked it to be a little more abstract, but it's looking like a little more regular looking now, but that's okay. We're gonna do that. Let me just see if the small miracle beads fit on there. Mm, a little bit, they're not too bad. Okay, let me just straighten this one out a little bit. And I'm glad I'm doing this on the live stream because sometimes I have all these materials and I just never get around to trying them. Oh, I found a little hematite bead with a big hole. Let's just keep it basic. So I'm gonna put the hematite, then I don't have to battle with the colors. Sometimes I have a lot of trouble with colors. So I'm just gonna put the hematite bead on there and bring the, now the trick is to where to finish the, the wire, right? So I'm gonna just bring this to the back and yellow. Yeah, I bought some Mike, uh, Michael's very strong and very liquidy. Is that, is that about the Gorilla Glue? Oh, there's all kinds of cement too. Okay, cool. So now I'm just gonna bring this wire around to finish it off and just pull this end right around. And then the key of course is to clip the end so it's not gonna be super sharp. So let's just give it a little clip and then pinch it right in there so it's not gonna be sharp. And then we can put it on the ring cone. This is quite cute. And it's funny because I started, um, I, I'm back on TikTok. I hadn't been on TikTok for a while and Beetleon uh, actually is on TikTok too. So um, so I'll post uh, I'll post this one on TikTok and, uh, and I'll tag them because uh, I'm having so much fun with my one minute ring videos on TikTok. And then I just post them on, on um, Instagram and, and YouTube as well. So this is cute guys, very simple, very fancy with the braid. I quite like it. It's really, really cute. And then you can just put it on like that. It makes a very pretty ring. And you could do the same thing with the twisted wire as well. So guys, let's try to do a tree. I love that idea of the tree. And then here's the this one here. But if I wanna do a frame for the tree, I do have some thicker wire too. It's not like the perfect color, but maybe I could do a, a frame out of this wire just to put the tree inside. Uh, 3F Gaming, hello, hello. So there we go. And now we are going to, nice ring, thank you. Yeah, we're just troubleshooting ideas for this braid wire. This is the wire from Beadalon. This is the braid wire. And it's like um, twisted wire that's twisted together. So it's like a double twist type of thing. So now if we're gonna do the tree, uh, why don't I just cut a piece first and then we'll go from there. So let me measure it so we have an idea and if you guys need to have an idea like how much we're going to use. I love your short videos. Thanks, Mustafa. It's a real challenge getting the videos down to one minute. And rather than taking old old videos and and uh, editing them, I just refilm them. It's much easier. And then, cause they have to be in a vertical format. Here, I'm gonna cut five inches of this and hopefully it's gonna be a good size. So yeah, so they they are just uh, filmed in a video in a vertical format, and then they, they have to be one minute long to be eligible to be a short video. So it's a real challenge. and But the key is like on Instagram to go on IGTV, the, um, you need it to be at least one minute. So it can't be more than a minute, can't be less than a minute. So it's definitely a challenge. <laughs> yeah, so now this is five minutes and make a bracelet, yes. So I'll try the bracelet after. I'm gonna do the, I got a little distracted with the idea of the tree. So I'm gonna do the tree first and then we'll do a bracelet after. And then we'll have at least three things that we've made with this, with the braid wire. So, so here we go. So this is gonna make, uh, like Amber was saying, a very little tree because it's quite, uh, ends up being quite small. And we only have, well, we have these three, but we're gonna separate them even more. So this will be the part that we would put on the bottom of the frame. And I'm gonna leave enough that I could twist the bottom a little bit. And then maybe just one more. And then I'm gonna untwist the top. So now we're gonna to do, uh, da, 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 da. 
uh, it can be less than a minute, but not more. Exactly. Yeah. So it's very, very tricky. You have to, you have to be very, very precise with that because, um, if it's under a minute, it won't post to IGTV. And if it's, uh, if it's over a minute, I think it won't post to TikTok or something. So it's, uh, oh, and it won't post to shorts. So uh, to be categorized as a short, it has to be vertical, has to be one minute or less, and it you have to hashtag it with shorts. And the great thing about those is they're not monetized. So you guys can watch them with no ads, which is really, really cool for you guys. So I have Twisted Wires that makes great bracelets. Yes. Yeah. Bracelets, I think, is a great idea. So... I'm going to try to make this braided wire later today. Yeah, you could definitely make this because it's twisted, two pieces twisted together. And then these are twisted. I don't know if they're actually braided. That's what I'm going to have to try to see if they're actually braided. So let me just undo this. I think I cut this one way too long for the tree. You could have definitely cut less than this. I cut five inches, but you could definitely cut it less than this because I really want this to be quite small so we're gonna just uh cut it to well i'll put it to here and then just out of curiosity i'm gonna compare it with making my own twisted wire so say we we have so we have this one and let's get this one and we're gonna try to make the twisted wire so if i take this and we're gonna cut three pieces and see how it goes maybe if it's braided then it would be flatter let's try to braid it let's try to braid it to see the difference uh, because at this point I can't really tell if it's braided or twisted I think it maybe it is actually braided I'm not sure but what I should have done is just left some of these um, in the same position maybe I'll just twist them together to start just to be sure what I need here is another person to hold the end so that uh, they won't come apart Maybe I didn't even need to twist the bottom. That's okay. We're going to try it. So let's just try. I'll put the tree at the side. We're going to work on it again after. And then if you're going to braid it, oh, usually I braid, I think I braid from the top and down. So it, I haven't braided in a long time. So we go one over, okay, and then over. That's basically what a braid is. That's pretty easy, but this is maybe not tight enough. So we're going to go over. I think this wire is a little thick and over. Okay, this one is thick, so I think I'm just going to try to twist this one, and I'll get the thinner one to do the to the, do the braiding with. So let's just take these, and what if we just do this? So if we're going to twist two together, okay, let's twist two together, and then we're going to twist another one. So if we just go around, we'll twist the two together, and then after, we'll add another wire to it. Like, already this is cool, twisting two twisted wires together so that yeah clamp would be good definitely would be a good idea but then then that would mean I would have to go down to my basement to get a clamp so but you guys could definitely use a clamp I think it's a great idea here let me hold it for you yes that would be great it's so funny because my friend Peter uh, interviewed me for his podcast and he asked me that one superpower what my one superpower would be that I want would want and I said to teleport so, uh, so yes, that would be great to teleport you here, Joan, and you can hold the end for me. That would be wonderful. So we're going to go around here. Now I need to get my twisted wire. Yes, definitely, Kat. Definitely get out your twisted wire. So this is just two that are twisted together. Unfortunately, I'm not sure what gauge this is, but it is a little bit thicker. And then we want to add, if we're going to add another one, I think we're just going to, We I think you can just twist it. You just twist it back in these. Wait, I'm just gonna see. Uh, make sure I'm going the right direction. No, I might not be going the right direction because you have to twist it the right way. No, that's definitely not the right direction. So now let me go back. So if we're gonna go around here, because you wanna be able to twist it in these crevices from the from the twist. So maybe if I just hold it with this for now. It's going to be easier. So we're just going to, we hold it here and then we want to twist it. See, it's twi it's moving too much. So if we want to just twist this up, if I had a clamp, this would definitely be much easier. So we're just going to twist it back in these, in these lines. It's a little hard to see. So we're going to, if we go back in here, I'm not sure 
this is exactly what I want to be doing here. But I think you, I think there's a way to do it. This is actually makes a really interesting texture. It's a twist within a twist. It's not at all what the wire looks like, but it's kind of a different idea. Yeah, it just gives it an interesting texture. It's like a twizzle kind of thing. Yeah, it's very interesting. I'm not sure I'm going to do something with this, but it's interesting. And maybe what I could do is just remove one of these, pull it back, and see what happens. So if I pull this one, I did start braiding it. So if I pull this one back, I'm going to see if I could go backwards and do it that way. So if I pull it back here and then just keep twisting this, it just makes a different... It's all, it, you're not going against the grain, but you're, it's staying on the surface of the wire. So I think you could really play around with it. It just gives an interesting texture. So I'm not going to do anything with that, but I'm going to now... Uh, so Aisha's here. How are you? What are we making? We're experimenting with the braid wire. Uh, Carol says would look great with different colors. Great idea. Absolutely. So now, say we're going to try it with this twisted wire instead. I'm going to just take, uh, I'm going to take one piece and I'm actually just going to fold it in half. And then I'm going to take another piece and just cut this other piece like this. So let me just see if we can actually braid this small wire to see if it actually works. So let me just twist this one around here. So we have our three pieces. I'm going to trim this. This is quite a thin gauge. I'm not exactly sure what it is. And hi, Peggy, got distracted, no problem. A coiled coil, yes, exactly, you're right. It's like the, because the Beadalon also has that gizmo to make coils, and it's like a coiled coil, for sure, exactly. So now, say we try, try to actually braid this, but the, the key is to get it very tight, right? So if we're gonna bring that one there, and bring that one over here, so, if it's an actual braid, we're just going to go back and forth. This is almost like a looser braid. So it's definitely an interesting look. It's not as tight as the um, as the one that uh, comes in the, like the braid uh, commercial one. But this is interesting. It just gives it a different kind of look. And, and the key is to get it like very even, which is not so super easy to do but I think this could make an interesting ring as well to do a braided twist this is sort of like Kim Kimmy Hemo what is that Amber I've never heard of that that sounds really interesting yeah I'm always interested in new techniques so uh so that sounds really cool maybe you could tell us what that is it almost it reminds me of a little ladder you remember when we were kids we used to do that string thing to make the Jacob's ladder that was super fun, and it was just sort of like twisted together and stuff. I remember having fun with that at school. Uh, braid's going to be flat, exactly. So, so this is like makes definitely makes a more flat braid, which is interesting too. Like it's more wide. It also reminds me of crochet. To me, it almost looks like a crochet, a line of crochet or a chain stitch, and uh, which is very interesting as well. And you know. The tighter you pull it, you'll be able to get it more even and more flat. But it's definitely interesting. I thought about doing a friendship bracelet. Yeah, yeah. So like friendship bracelets with wire. That's because there's all kinds of different uh, kind of uh, knots or weaves or whatever you call it to make friendship bracelets. To make those out of wire would be super cool. I like that idea for sure. So now if we got this far, I should have left more ends on the other on the other side, but maybe there's something we can do with it. So this is our our long piece, and then we could just bring it around to make a ring. So if we come around here, we could maybe even go around twice. That's kind of interesting to go around twice. That could be cool. And then say we want to just, we could keep this loop. Maybe I'll do a little bit more. Yeah, I think I would want to go around twice because it's quite thin. So let's just do a little bit more. Okay, around and around, a little bit more. And then I think what we can do is just go through this end. So I'm gonna clip this here. I'll just clip it up. 
Uh, hi, Ka Kathy says, hi, Heather and everybody. Hello, hello. So we're just going to cut this and then make sure that there's a bit of a hole in here to fit the wire through. So I'm just making that hole a little bit bigger. And we're going to bring this one around a couple of times. And then I think it's going to make end up making this ring a little bit smaller. But we can stick one of these ends through this loop. So let's just take this, stick it through that loop so we have something to secure it with. So I just stuck it through the loop. And we're going to bring this one in here. Uh, Christina Larson from CSL has a book about it. Okay, you'll have to remind me because I, I haven't heard of that before. I would be curious to see. Adriana, I love your videos. Thank you. I want to get your merchandise so badly. By the way, you are... What are you making? So now we are making stuff with this braided wire. So here's the braid wire from Artistic Wire. And I've started a few things. We made a ring. I'm working on a tree, uh, but because I can't focus on one thing for too long, I've already jumped over and I'm making a, another ring with sort of braided uh, our own braided twist, twisted wire. So we're gonna go with that. I'm gonna make this a little smaller so I could actually pull this tight. Okay, we're gonna pull this one tight so it's all the way like that. So we have this like this. This is kind of pulling out at the back a little bit, but I think it's okay. And then maybe now we should put a bead on here. What do you think? I think we should definitely put a bead on this one because we didn't put one on the other one. So let's go ahead and grab our bead. Oh, we did put a bead on the other one. I forgot already. Now, Mustafa said a, a pale pink. So I do have a pale pink. It clashes a little bit, but it's okay. Let's try this one. Hey, Bonnie. Happy you sharing your skills. Oh, my pleasure. I'm, I have so much fun. And you know... Uh, I was saying earlier that if I didn't have this live stream, I might not get around to playing with some of these supplies. So you guys really motivate me to uh, dive in and work on some new designs. And I really appreciate that because, you know, sometimes we get distracted with other projects and other things and, and it's easy to kind of lose track of things. So this is, this is turning out well, just playing with these wires uh, improvising and as you guys know I'm not afraid to make mistakes so if it things don't work out it doesn't bother me I don't feel weird about it you know you guys know me really well so I'm perfectly perfectly comfortable making mistakes with you guys which is which is great it's very comforting so now we're going to bring this one around a couple of times and clip the end there so it's not sharp and give that a cut clip 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 and then we're gonna pinch that one in. Oh, and I'm making another uh, bloopers videos. Let me know. Let me know in the comments if you like my blooper video because I'm working on another one because I do a lot of bloopers. So there's another one coming out soon. So here's the ring so far. Two sets of braids, and then we have to. I would like to surround this this bead with some wire. It ended up being a little bit crooked, but that's okay. So oh, perfect. If you can't focus on one thing too long, you're not going to like, <laughs> that's so funny. Now I'm curious what it is, but I'm also having a lot of fun with my art channels. So I definitely, um, definitely have a lot of things that I'm working on. I, I did another art video last night. Uh, unfortunately I did a screen recording. So there's all this weird stuff on the screen, but it was something called touch drawing. And I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it, but it's a woman, um, her name is Deborah, and I forget her full name, Goff something. And I put a link to it in my on my art channel. I'm just going to tuck these ends in, guys, if you're wondering what I'm doing. And she does touch drawing. So she puts print printmaking ink on a flat surface, rolls it out, puts a paper on top, and then she rubs it and gets an impression of what she wants uh, on the paper and it's so cool. Unfortunately, I didn't have the right kind of paper. So mine didn't turn out really, really well, but uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. So this is pretty good guys. I just ran the ends around the wire, around the bead to make it solid, tuck the ends in, and it makes for a really, really funky ring. So do you like using the braided wire? So far, so good, yeah. Viking knit is also very time consuming. True. Yeah. So, oh, Didi's Dee going. Okay. Bye. Bye, Didi. Dee Dee. Thanks for hopping. Bloopers are awesome. Yay. So now, see, this is really tiny. It's not going to fit on my finger very well, but it's pretty, pretty good. Like, and sometimes you can actually 
size it like you can if you push it down the ring cone you can size it a little bit bigger depending on what kind of weave or or what kind of uh, wrapping you have uh blue lily 82 hello we just recently found the chill like the design uh well second uh with trees uh, trees uh trees p i don't even know how to pronounce it but that's amber if anybody's wondering <laughs> So uh, on CSL designs, cool, 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 cool. So yeah, so this this ring it doesn't fit any finger. Oh, it fits that finger. Wow, that finger is smaller. So this it fits that one, and then we have this one that fits that one. So the rings so far are turning out pretty good. I like them, and I've learned from CSL design. Okay, or I will definitely look that up and and check what that is. So back to the tree, guys. So let's do a frame for the tree. And I have this really thick, it's not quite rose gold. It's more like a copper gold, but I'm going to try this. Sometimes I order wire on Etsy and then it comes and it's not the color that I thought it was. So what can you do about that, right? There's not much you can do. So what gauge of braided wire are you using? So the gauge I'm using for those is this 10 gauge braided wire by Artistic Wire by Beadalon. So that's super fun. Maybe I'll make one also on the live stream tomorrow because tomorrow I'm doing that live stream with Beadalon on their Facebook page. I pinned the link up at the top of the page. And um, if you guys want to join on that live stream, that would be super amazing too. So Adriana says, your favorite gauge of wire is, mine is um, my favorite gauge, I guess. Depends on what I'm making. I used to say 20 gauge, but now I also really like 18 gauge for the rings because it's a little more solid. So the, the wires I use the most are 18, 20, and 24 for sure. And I just got a whole bunch of 22 gauge because I remember I was saying previously I didn't have any 22 gauge. So Beadalon sent me a whole bunch of big spools of 22 gauge. So that's fantastic. So now let's make a little frame for the tree. We could make a round frame too. Round frames are really nice too. So why don't we make a round frame? I'm just going to, round frames are easier too because you don't have to get the sides the same size. So I'll just wind it around the ring cone. Uh, so many wonderful artists to follow. Yes, exactly. Yeah, it's amazing because when I started making wire art and jewelry, there was nothing. There was no internet. There was no nothing. And um I just winged it. You know, I kind of learned as I went. My husband was making wire bicycles, so he kind of gave me the he gave me the materials and then I just kind of went from there. So, I'm going to try to put this on a pill bottle. It's going to be a little bit easier. Yeah, there's so much available now. It's really amazing for making and for selling, you know. When I when I was started selling, I was mostly selling on the street and I was doing wholesale and all kinds of stuff like that. But now it's so easy to sell online. It's pretty amazing. So let me just bring this one around. This is maybe a little bit small, but I don't also don't want it too big. So why don't we just do, I could pull it back. I'm gonna make it quite small. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it this size, I think. This, this wire is a little bit soft, but that's okay. Um, I guess, okay, I'm missing a whole bunch of comments. I am odd one, my non-dominant hand slightly larger okay yeah that's true way eh? it's because we have uh, both sides of the body are not the same size for sure there's definitely uh, uh we're not we're not mirror each side is not a mirror image of each other that's right and there's definitely beauty and imperfection anyways so that's a good thing so there's the the round part now we're going to do a little bail at the top so I'm just going to keep it really simple. I'm just going to do the little circle at the top. Uh, yeah, the braid that I started with is the 10 gauge. And then the other ones, I don't have the gauge is marked, but I used the twisted wire for the, uh, for the, to make my own kind of braid thing. That, that was the one I used to make the flat, uh, the flat braid. So I'm just going to do like a little circle thing at the top, bring this one around. And we'll just keep that pretty simple. And we're going to cut that one. And then we're going to see about the tree. And hopefully this isn't too, too small. But I also don't want it too big because this is quite thin. So I really don't want it too big. Um, I just don't. Okay. Left-handed and left-handed smaller. Okay. Cool. Uh, so now, what type of beads do you recommend to use? Because I have the wrong ones. So it depends. I like miracle beads. 
And I also like cat's eye beads. And the sizes that I use, like for example, this is a cat's eye bead, six millimeter. Uh, this one also cat's eye, six millimeter. But also I use like the miracle beads. This is eight millimeter. And also I use the miracle beads that are four millimeter. So four, six, and eight. Uh, and I have I have a lot of, I also have just plain glass glass uh, beads as well. So we, what we can do is we can just, I don't want to unravel this too much. Maybe I un unraveled it too much already. So if we just go in like this and then we could just bring these ones and then you want, see I've already forgotten like how much I should do here, but see I don't want it too much, but we also want to give a little bit of body to the, to the, the stem. So uh, so Lily, Blue Lily says, if you have a business license, Dakota Stone sells wholesale. Yeah, yeah, Fire Mountain Gems is a good place to buy beads. And also I just search Etsy to find beads. I often buy, buy beads on Etsy and um, Amazon, but I'm lucky I live in Montreal, so we have a lot of bead stores here, which is really great for sure. So Stephanie says, I've started crafting with wire wrapped stones. I don't think I have the quality of wire. So when I tweak to make designs, it the wire becomes sharp. Okay, so do you mean uh, tweak it to make design or tighten the wire? So sharp. Well, I like the copper wire because it is quite soft. So um, I'm not quite sure exactly what you mean by that question, but um, yeah, copper wire is good for because it's pretty it's pretty soft and easy to work with. And for cutting the ends, you just want to cut them really flush and then tuck your ends in so they're not sharp. So now we're going to just take this and do the like the to do the um what do you call it? The whoa, that's a little bit big. To do the roots, we're going to just take this and just do the roots here around here. Yeah, I don't think I would have wanted to make this tree any bigger because it's not like it's a little bit narrow, right? So we're just going to cut this and then we'll do this one here. Okay, we'll do this one and then we'll do the other one. And yeah, it makes for quite a small tree because of the the size of the braid, but that's okay. Uh, it damage is easy, yeah. So depending on the quality of your wire, uh, I like the artistic wire. Um, it's I've also used just craft wire from Michaels as well, which is pretty decent quality. And uh, a lot of people buy copper too at the hardware store. So it's kind of hit and miss. I would be careful, you know, sometimes at the dollar store, it's not the best quality. And um, I use aluminum for a lot of things, but it's also a little more fragile. So it just depends, really depends on what you're making. So I'm going to have to give a little bit more form to these, um, these uh, roots because they're a little stiff right now. But that we can do after. We're just going to, I really want to get the ends tucked in so they're not sharp. So we're just going to get the ends in. And I think I would like to put some beads or some stones on the branches. So now we, let's just kind of play around with these uh, roots. So we can just do like a flick of the wrist thing to give them a little bit of form. That makes a big difference when you just do like that little flick of the wrist thing. It makes a big difference to give it some form. And then now what we're going to do is we want to untwist these wires. So let's do that. Uh, stainless steel wire doesn't damage easily. Yes, yeah, stainless steel is very hard to work with. I rarely, rarely use it, but I know that some people use it for weaving and stuff. So it just depends on what kind of effect you want as well. Um, you could put tape on your pliers. Okay, so you don't scratch it. True. Yeah, yeah. And some people, some, yeah, dollar store wire is good to practice. Hey, Clarice. Yeah, dollar store wire is very good to practice with. So now I think I cut these way too long. But the thing with that is we might double back and use these, like, even if they're long, we might just double back and use them. So we're going to just do this. Um, it seems like almost counterproductive unwinding this wire, but uh, it works. You know, it definitely works. Uh, is it uh, better than just twisting the wires yourself to begin with? I'm not sure, but it just depends on the look you want. The advantage is it's got a nice tight weave in the trunk. So that's the advantage, I guess, of doing this. 
uh, although it does, it's definitely more time consuming than, um, than uh, twisting it yourself, I would think. So yeah, I'm going to leave some of that there and then I'm going to bring this one in. See what we could do is we could bring this one in, twist it around a couple of times and then bring it back because I think what we want to do is like not waste this wire. So let's just bring it back and see, see what we can do. We could just bring it back here. We can put beads on it, but for now, I think I'm just going to play around with it like this. I can always add some beads after too. That's definitely a possibility. So I'm going to twist this one around and then look, we could even bring this back down again. So we could, if we want to bring this one back down here, we could bring it back down to here because I don't want to waste the wire. Uh, so we said, um, Heather's going on 30 years now, Louis. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, sorry, I missed a question. Thank you. Hey, Louis, how are you? Yeah, 30 years for sure. It's, uh, I've been making wires since 1989, which is a very long time. So, um, yeah, definitely a lot of practice. Uh, changed the style over the years, although I've kept with my basic style, which is interesting. So this is looking kind of cool, just unwinding these wires a little bit. Uh, I'm just wondering if I do want to put some beads on there. I think it might be a good idea to put some beads, but I'm just going to play around with it for now, and maybe I'll add some beads after. I'm just going to see. And like I said, I'm not 100% convinced it's worth it to do it this way because if you're unwinding the wire it just seems a little bit of counterproductive but you know what I might do rather than because I don't mind changing gears mid design so why don't I just go ahead bring this one in I think I'm going to do it this way I'm just going to go around bring this one in and cut that a little bit and rather than unwind those I might save them for something else and I'll just bend that one in there this one too, we can just bring that one around here. And I think I'm gonna grab some beads and attach some beads after this. So I'll just get rid of that. And then just bring this one up here, it's fine. So we're just gonna go in here and around, maybe around here to the back and then back down. So we're just kind of incorporating some of these wires in a little bit. I'm gonna bring this one down here Okay, and then maybe, here, you know what? Maybe I'm going to, um, oh, that one went over there and there. So do I wanna use this one? Maybe I'll bring this one down too. So we've got that one here and bring this one here. So I'm gonna just bring this one down here. I'm just kind of playing with it, trying to figure out what I'm doing. I'm gonna bring this one here just so I don't waste, completely waste it. So, uh, Lauren said, some green sea glass beads as leaves would be, yes, that would be really cute. That's a great idea. And I actually have some uh, green stone chips. So let me see if I can find the stone chips and then we can attach those with a wire. That would be really cool. So this is sort of a basic uh, thing. Like I said, I changed gears with these wires and decided to not unravel them. So let me see if I can find some stones. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'll show you guys. These are my stones that I have, and we'll see what we have here. Yeah, sea glass, sea glass leaves would be really, really cute if I had some little ones. But I have all, all kinds of stones here, and I do have some green ones. Let's take a sip of water. This is where I keep all my stones. I'll just remove this. And sea glass for the background would be cool too. Yeah, I like that idea of doing... Um, the tree on the sea, sea glass, kind of like what we were doing with the wire wrap sea glass before. That would be really, really cool. Yeah, yeah, maybe I should do something like that. That's I don't have my sea glass with me, but another time. So now we'll get some stones. Um, perfect, cheap wire. Yeah, yeah, you want to get some decent quality wire for sure. So here's some stones, and rather than unravel that stuff, I actually have some wire. So this is 24 gauge wire, that's the same color as the twisted wire, same brand. And uh, so we're just gonna take a bunch and add some stones. I think it's gonna be easier. Uh, stainless steel from Mountain Fire Mountain Gems. Yeah, well, I just received some 
uh, 18 gauge stainless steel wire and I honestly do not know what to do with it. So if you guys have any ideas what I can do with the 18 gauge stainless steel wire, uh, that would be amazing because that sounds like a bit of a nightmare to me because it's probably super, super hard. So if you guys have some ideas, just let me know in the comments. That would be great. And now we're just going to poke this one through. I just want to get it sort of through one of the little intersections so it's nice and solid. So we're going to bring that one through here. Just bring it right through. And then we're going to start to add some stones in there. So let's just go ahead and should I wind it around a little bit? Yeah, I'm going to wind it around a little bit too. So bring that one in there. Just kind of put it through and then up and then we'll put some stones on there and see how it works. So we'll just fancy it up a little bit. So there's really the only remnant of the braid, the braided wire is going to be this, the, um, the trunk of the tree. So uh, for some reason they, that really surprised me, but okay, I think I missed Connie's uh, parawire is another source for stainless steel, okay. Uh, so do you guys know what I could do with the stainless steel? Let me see, 18 gauge would probably make a good frame for a sun catcher, true. Or bangles. Okay, bangles would be a good idea. Yeah, because that would that would definitely hold its um, hold its shape quite well. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to play around with it because I really uh, I'm not quite sure what to do with it. I've used 20 gauge stainless steel for uh, different things. So uh, yeah. It's hard to braid with one hand. Yeah, braiding wire with one hand is definitely tricky. Here, I'll put a few of these stones on here and we're gonna see how this is going to look. And I hope we don't cover it. We're gonna end up covering all my branches. Uh, so maybe that's not the best idea, but what can we do about that? So we'll just keep adding the stones, see how it looks. And we can almost backtrack, but this is just really to give you guys an idea of what we can do with the different wires. It's kind of interesting. You can still see the um, you can still see the branches a little bit. We just want to be careful not to cover. Oh, okay, I pulled that through the wrong way. We want to be careful not to uh, cover all the branches. So I'm going to bring this one over here. Bring that one over here. Yeah, I don't want to cover that beautiful, beautiful. Um, trunk. So let me just bring it in this intersection instead. I'm going to bring it over here and I got to be careful not to bend this 24 gauge wire too much or it's just going to uh, snap. So I'm going to bring this one up maybe up here on this side. Okay and then back down. We're going to we're almost stitching these stones on because I didn't add them with the actual wire. They would have been tricky to add to the twisted wire because it's already kinked and the stones have very small holes, so it might not have fit in there. So there we go. Uh, Carmen, I'm from Aiken, South Carolina. Cool. Hi, Carmen. How are you? Love your tutorials on rings. Thank you. Yeah, the, I'm having so much fun with those one minute ring tutorials. Like they're definitely a challenge uh, to, because usually like I f I'll film them and usually the the tutorial that I film is about between two and three minutes and then you have to uh, narrow it down to one minute. So it's definitely a challenge. Sometimes I speed them up like one and a half times and that helps because you have to get it down right to one minute. So it's it's been a, it's been a real challenge. So I just clipped the one end off and now I'm going to put some stones on the other side. This is gorgeous. Thank you. It's coming along slowly. And let's go ahead and put some um, more stones on the other side. And I like that you can still see the branches. I think it's important to be able to still see the branches because otherwise um, all that work would have been for nothing, right? So let's just get these ones on there, all the little stones. I'm trying to take the ones that aren't too, too big because I want to be able to see the uh, the branches as well. So, and this is, a, I'm attaching these with a 24 uh, gauge wire. So let's just put a couple of more on there. And pick, whoa, these are hard to pick up a little bit. So there we go, that one. And, uh, and then for the new people hopping on, don't forget to uh, hop over to the Beadle on Facebook page tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern time. I pinned the link at the top 
of the comments there. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing a live stream with them making more uh, rings. So that'll be super fun. And I'm going to create some a couple of new designs uh, to be doing there tomorrow and, and doing some of my more popular designs too. So there we go. So we're going to do that one. And then let's bring it back above this branch. And I'm going to make sure these branches actually show because they're so pretty. I want to make sure we can still see these braided wires. So let's just bring this one around. Do a couple more beads in there. Hope we don't run out of wire. And just keep going with it. So if they're not responding quickly, I'm new to live chat. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, live chat is a bit of a challenge. And I know sometimes when people watch the live streams, they actually comment underneath the video. And then I don't see it until after the, um, after the video has aired. So if you've made comments and I haven't seen them, that might be because you've commented uh, actually underneath the video instead of... Um, on the in the live chat so just just check when you're commenting to make sure you're ch uh, commenting in the live chat itself otherwise I might miss your comments and then and then I won't be able to comment until after after it airs so we're gonna bring this one up through here pull that one up and then let's do we could even like wind it through another time if you need to and then bring this one up here we'll just try to fill in these areas a little bit and I haven't made it a tree in a while. This is kind of fun. This is really, really super fun. Uh, let's get some of these more stones because I'm trying to just use the smallish ones. We're going to get this one. Perfect. Looking forward to seeing tomorrow's. Yay! You have a slot open. Fantastic. Oh, that's great. Like I, uh, I'm not exactly sure how it's going to work because I'm going to have to have two devices open so I can show my hands and also... Uh, do the live as well. So I think we're actually filming it on Zoom, but it's being streamed to Facebook. So that'll be super fun. So now we're gonna bring this one down here. We're gonna do a few more stones and then we will be done, done like dinner. And we're gonna get that one. And yeah, I filmed another video last night to make a bunny ring. And unfortunately the first clip didn't film. So I'm gonna reef after the live stream, I'm gonna go down and refilm the bunny the bunny ring tutorial and I'll post that uh, this afternoon so look forward to a little bunny ring tutorial it's sort of based on one of my earring tutorials but it's uh, slightly different so it's going to be cute bunnies as you know are my favorite 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 animal I love bunnies and we have them all over our neighborhood which is amazing so here we've just I put the last um, stones on there and then we need to finish up the finish up the wire so let me just twist it around a couple of times to hold it in place bring that one down and then bring it to the back it's like sewing you just have to go over your stitches a couple of times and then we're going to clip that and then we'll be good to go and that'll be it for today because it's already two o'clock I don't know where that hour went and uh, push that one in there and there we have the tree and then like I would really try to get these uh, twisted branches showing just because you know that's that's the nice part about the design is having the twisted branches so you don't want them all hidden this one's come up well this one maybe we can push it up a little bit more I'm going to be careful not to break the beads though that's the thing because the stones the stones can be very fragile here maybe if I go from the back and I'll just push them towards the front just so we can actually see these twisted wires and then this one too let's push it maybe get my flat pliers push it to the front a little more there we go because otherwise we're we're not going to see much so yeah it really helps if you push if you push these twisted wires up a little bit more and then if you give them a little flick of the wrist you could give them a little bit more uh, movement and a little bit they'll look a little more organic when you twist them a little bit so that's good and then let's get this one to the front as well because otherwise we're not going to see our beautiful twisted branches and that's what we want to do is see our branches so there we go we're going to bring that one there and that one there so that's really interesting seems like a lot of work for uh, what it's what what the results are I'm not sure if it's worth it to to do it 
uh, that way. But I think if you do a combination of the braided wire and the twisted wire, uh, or just the braided wire with the 24 gauge wire, it works quite well. So that's pretty cool. I like it, I like it. So let's see what we did today. We did the tree and we did the ring with the cat's eye, with it, which is braided flat. And then we did the one with the full on braided wire and then we untwisted it a little bit to do this part. So let me know in the comments, which is your favorite. I'm just gonna check some of the comments. Yeah, I love bunnies too, yes. Oh yeah, we have so many wild ones here for sure. Love your tree, thank you. Thanks for the tip, Lauren. I think I miss, make sure to look tarnish. Yeah, tarnish resistant wire is super good. Yep, for sure. And love them all, love trees, favorite, love everything. Yay, that's awesome. So let me just, uh, and this is the this is the wire, just so you know, this is the, um, the braid wire. And I used the 10 gauge for the braid wire there. And I also used the twisted wire. And I'm not sure the gauge of this, but it looks like it's probably like a 22 gauge of the twisted wire to, uh, I use that to make this ring here. So, and it's the rose gold for sure. Those are beautiful. Have you ever tried to make the trees with the round stones? Yes, yes, you could definitely make the trees with the round stones as well, for sure. So let me just uh, twist the screen. Yay, there we go, perfect. So guys, I've got my favorite necklace on. This is my, this one I made like 30 years ago. This used to be my logo, the, uh, the wire lady logo and I had it printed on t-shirts and all kinds of things. It's like a little lady wearing earrings. Super cute. Oh, thanks Mustafa. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for lots more DIY wire art and jewelry making videos. I'm going to hop over to the Discord app now and post pictures in the post live stream section. Um, I don't have the link on me for Discord, but uh, Mustafa, do you have the link for Discord? Because if you guys aren't already joined, you could join Discord. And uh, we go over after the live stream to post pictures of all the stuff. And probably we'll be doing a Let's Get Wired on Sunday at noon. So I'm going to post an announcement video about that so you guys can know uh, if we're going to do Let's Get Wired. And that one you join through Discord as well. So uh so that would be great. Oh, so Mustafa's going to get the link to Discord. And basically, I should actually do a video about how to do, um, how to join Discord. It's pretty straightforward. You can get an app or you could go to discord.com. And if you join the link, um, you'll go right to the Heather Boyd Wire channel, I guess they call it. And I have all kinds of sections. So I have the Let's Get Wired section. I have, oh, there we go. Perfect. So Mustafa just posted the link to Discord. Uh, and uh, I'll hop over after this, I'll put a picture of what I've done. And then you can also, there's a share your work section where you can share your wire art and jewelry and um, introduce yourself. And it's just a fun little app. It's a little more, you know, discreet than Facebook. It's kind of, it's really super fun. And uh, and yeah, so thank you everybody for hopping on. Ishita and Clarice and Joan and Amber and Mustafa, thanks for your help too. And uh, Carmen, Lauren, Connie, Karen, all kinds of people and whoever's still on the live stream. Uh, hello, hello. Oh, thanks Kelly so much. That's fantastic. And uh, yeah, we'll probably see you uh, Sunday uh, for the live and be sure we'll, if we see you on, um, be sure to see you uh, tomorrow, 2 p.m. Eastern time on the Beetle on Facebook page. And that link is uh, pinned to the top of the video. So thanks guys, and we'll see you the next time. Bye.